found some stuff on the Rothschilds. Yeah, found a family tree that is very revealing in terms of people that have not been able to find before and some of the jokes are potentially a conspiracy theory but I want to share it with you yeah first I want you to remind you how horrible all the wars are that the Rothschilds engineer yeah and the movies that they make about them are absolutely vicious they win all of Hollywood's Oscars this is one of them So, the music around the Holocaust, the music around the death camps, all over Germany. Let me show you a more explicit clip, and we'll drop the music now, and take you right into Schindler's List, the movie, and introduce you to uh, the lead character's love life, yeah, after he's picked the virgin or the unmarried woman from the lineup that is available to him. Oh, sorry, this has not got the. Oh, yes, it is. One of you is a very lucky girl. There is a, an opening for a job. Away from all this. Listen very carefully for the name of the girl who wins his uh, lust. Backbreaking work at the Manuel Villa. Uh, which of you has um, a domestic experience? Yeah, I'm talking so tight. I don't really want someone else's name. All those annoying habits I have to undo. So that's Helen Hirsch, a very important name for the Rothschilds, but not before two days ago <laughs> when I became aware of it. Okay, this is what I became aware of, a family tree that takes you a lot further back in time. This movie clip goes on to show you the killing of the German engineer and all the demonization of Marxist doctrine. Uh, I will not show you that, I just want to take you into my conspiracy theory that this is a sick joke about the Hirsch family being in the Rothschild dynasty. Okay, this is what I found. It's on wikimedia.org, rothschildfamilytree.png. Okay, and there you've got at the head of the bloodline in 1550. This is a lot further back than I've been able to go before. And remember, we told you about the bears being the name of the family way back then okay so what you've got here is Moses Rothschild Esther his daughter eh, and then you've got the linkage to Naphthal Hirsch <laughs> okay 1648 a long long time ago yeah and all the jokes about Mendel and the rabbis and all of the Solomon stories that come into the whole of the religious fraud. Can you see how many Moses there are? Uh, and there's a Kalman already coming in, 1729. Not sure if that's the one that was sent to meet the Pope. There's another Hirsch, Hannah 
Hirsch, okay? Hannah Rothschild, reg legendary name in its own right. Every one of them is biblical. Every one of them uh, is telling. And there's the famous five that beca becomes Enid Blyton's jokes about the bankers that take over the whole world. Uh, and that is... So... Mayor Amshel, Amshel Rothschild uh, and he sired the children that went as the five arrows to start the banks. So do you see that that is likely to be in the Holocaust movie a joke about Helen Hirsch in the Rothschild bloodline? The other person I stumbled on is something that I've struggled with for a few weeks since I discovered the linkage of the volcanic and seismic actions to all of the evil geopolitical and monetary manipulation of our globe. Okay, and that is the name. There's Lionel Nathan. I think that's the ones that sired Queen Victoria's babies. <laughs> okay, uh, and where is the missing link in the financial linkage to the erupting volcanoes <laughs> it is there <laughs> okay also a biblical one Abraham Montefiore is the issue from that person that's the Montefiores that we, we have described several times in recent videos uh, and that's enough for my disclosures on the Rothschilds if I get more I will reveal them to you one at a time. Okay, I cannot yet see the the five arrows that were released from Frankfurt from the ghetto in that movie that I played you the theme tune to. Okay, but I've found the family tree now and I've bridged the gap between the uh, <laughs> Montefiores of Melrose yeah, and the links to the mountains of fire which take you into the places where the authorship of the Bible and the ownership of the central banks occurred in concert that is Naples in the Italian context okay <laughs> and the Montefiore mountain in Naples which is Vesuvius is also behind plump Hannah Rothschild who went there with her husband Archie Rosebery yeah, the Prime Minister of Britain, a villa right on the seafront in the harbour in Naples, almost adjacent to the Villa Papyri for the Piso family what wrote the Bible. <laughs> okay, so we're getting well linked in in explaining the whole of the evil history and the lineages of our whole world. Yeah, the uh, people that are the Hershey's may well be innocent but this is typical of the jokes that they share. So there's one Montefiero. I think there might be a couple of others. Yeah, I could not find anything on those themes linked to the Rothschilds before last evening. Okay, so let me now take you to the bit on the Montefiores just to show you that that is still very much alive and well, even in my local region. Okay, so there's the email I sent to myself, and there's the company check results for Monty Fury when I searched it again last night. I've made videos on that theme already, yeah, and it will be in the keywords, uh, and it will be linked to the research that I did on the city of Naples and the launching of the Italian bank there, the central bank, that's the bank de Figli, <laughs> the fig leaf joke, okay? And there is me clicking now on company check. Uh, and we can get rid of the Schindler's List tab. Okay, so there's Montefiore Limited. Huge numbers of companies. 24 companies, 49 directors, 3 sold traders, 40 European companies. Okay, no surprise to me that I have eventually found the linkage. Rothschild. Okay, 
minor figures at the bank are London based Montefiore Limited let's quickly duck through it Montefiore Trading Hume House Ballsbridge Dublin as usual the Irish laundering subsidiary with Zippo at the bank <laughs> Montefiore Business LLP Trading out of Sandy's Row London 25 to 26 million at the bank Montefiore Storage Limited New Burlington House Handily in Finchley Road in London the laundering hub nothing to declare when this was actually <laughs> put online okay uh, Die Montefiore Limited sounds relatively innocent very trivial sums at the bank Montefiore Tiling remember that Pizzo means floor <laughs> yeah and it means condominium that one Montefiore Road is in Brighton and Hove Albion yeah that's Brighton with all of those royal affiliations okay can you see how the cabal works and interbreeds with itself <laughs> three Dorset rise that one's in a net oh no it's got eight million assets and a net worth of minus 5.5 million <laughs> Montefiore endowment oh and there's one that's just a street name 36 Montefiore Street Limited isn't that clever it's based at 36 Montefiore Street <laughs> Montefiore Bridging Finance then there's another 10 or so there's another 14 of them if we went through it there's Seabag I believe that will be a joke about semen in the testicles <laughs> yeah and there is another one and look at the numbers of postcodes that each one of those registrations is associated with <coughs> okay dozens and dozens okay and we could look at any this is probably the same man but there's only one way to find out but I'm not going to do that you can do it for yourself just look up Montefiore it's M-O-T-E-F-I-O-R-E -E, and you will get all of these hits and you can lot you can go through it to your heart's content they may not be evil people they may not be greedy they may not be uh, committing any crimes at all I've just been intrigued by the link to the mountain of fire and why I could not find it associated with the Rothschild frauds and all of the religious frauds out of the <laughs> the volcanic and quakey regions where the Pauline missions went to establish religion and remember that the Piso Frugis issue the money through the mint in Rome even 120 years before Christ <laughs> yeah so that's the Bible defrauding authors running the mint in Rome and then when the Rothschilds come along and the Hirschis come in and the sire children because they're from a different bloodline which is good for your consanguinity index yeah if you keep shagging the same families all the time then you begin to get deformed babies <laughs> yeah and here you've got Montefiore Ocrent I think we'll stop on this one now and I'm gonna make that a little snappy Mrs. Miss Poppy Belinda Seabag Montefiore the poppy joke about the war dead the poppy joke about the Roman court the poppy joke about Poppea being Nero's wife <laughs> yeah and you've got the links I believe to Lord Sanderson of Bowden and the school at Melrose that is the public school I will not say it. I have a great deal of respect for some of the people from that school uh, and I've met people even working in financial services who are worthy of my respect I will not dob on them I'm trying to get at why the whole of our global economy is in sovereign debt it's an abomination okay uh, and so that's everything I think that we've got on those tabs and I can stop on that now let's have a look at one of these one of these ones with the multiple postcodes just out of curiosity Rupert Owen Seabag Montefiore
Margaret Street, London. 16 active companies and a quick scan through them. Libra Housing, Holding Matthews, Savills Pension Trust, Wellington Holdings, uh, Chesterfield, Savills again, Savills Telecom, Pentridge, Salisbury Arts Theatre Limited, Penhurst, The English Covenant Concert, Savills PLC. Let's have another look at another one of the multiples and see if I can get into the borders. Uh, so that was the top one. There's another sea bag. <laughs> And they may well worship at the same church as me. <laughs> I worship the gods. The fraud that they have released about Jesus is massive. Harewood, Leeds, West Yorks were into the Masonic terrain. Yeah, like we would be if we were in. Oh, and it's Ponzi's. Okay. Euclidean 4, Euclidean 2, Euclidean 3, Euclidean 5, Commerce Bank, Securities Limited massive yeah that's why they're married into the Rothschild family and that's why they're associated with the erupting volcanoes Oxford Centre for Hebrew and Jewish Studies Ludgate Capital the Wordsworth Trust the Samuel Courtauld Trust Harewood House uh, and has this got any of those borders issues on it Okay, take my word for it, that Melrose School has these people on its director, Strawberry Hill Trust, so this one's got arty farty, it's got Jewish and Hebrew issues, and it's got the New World Order uh, writers. Okay, I'm going to stop that one now and make another video on the theme of World War Two and our super elite people going into junkets in the countries that we are fighting in junkets yeah just like the people from the middle east that drink and shop with tony blair in the lead up to the brutalization of those countries all for geopolitical manipulation and for all of the oil wealth in those regions okay i'm going to stop that one now so we've got the Montefiore's tapped and we've got the joke if it is indeed the joke about one of the cynical things in that Schindler's List movie Schindler is still trading I have his director numbers or for the family in the London operations to this day also the same story for the three Polish in London <laughs> ok and their government was convened out of the no bombing zones immediately after Hitler swept into Poland in the Anschluss yeah, all of them bugger off so that they can profit maximally out of London ok so uh, let's shut him down and I think we'll just close that one and I'll make another couple on those shocking themes about junkets in World War 2 for the super elite families and the massive landowners all over Britain <laughs>